Welcome, people lands block Rimians, to day five of the crime fest celebrations, medations, things. Yes, today we have a new toy and actually something to equip with our new toy and weapons. And uh, anyway, let's get started. So the new one is a new weapon and it's a big flaming bullet flying machine called the KSP-58. Let's have a look at this. So as you can see, it's a fairly nice light machine gun, so to speak. It has a nice big bucket load of ammo on the side. Uh, it looks fairly nice in my opinion. I think it's pretty pretty well done. I mean, it looks like a light machine gun. That's a start. has a nice camo ammo bag. You know, if, if you're honestly looking for looks, then you probably buy safes and stuff, so there you go. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and buy it, and we can take a look at it. So, it's stats. Ah, oh, it holds 200 bullets, but it has 400 bullets in total. This is similar to the KSP shotgun. Uh, not shotgun, I've said twice I said that now. Light machine gun. But it's obviously somewhat a bit different. Its rate of fire is 909. Its damage is 38.8. Accuracy is 32. Stability 36. Concealment 2. And threat 38.8. Now this is the standard skills and stats of this weapon. But let's go kit it out a little bit. Now obviously there's a limited amount of kitting I can do depending on what I have. So let's have a look. So we can fit it with a short barrel. That's always an option. And uh, barrel extensions. These are basically just, you know, you can add extra damage to things. This isn't part of the update. I'm just going to show you what it looks like with a few things. So that's what it looks like with a compensator on it. With another compensator. With a big silencer because, yeah, that's totally what you're going to use in stealth, isn't it? Anyway, the new thing we have is the bipod. Yes, look at this. By pressing 4, we can now deploy slash undeploy the bipod. Now, I'll show you this in action in a minute. But uh, that's basically the new thing, and obviously for this, it does have its own kind of like stock. You can make it plastic, which in my opinion looks a bit better. I do kind of like that. Uh, anyway, you can fit it with all sorts of stuff. I'd recommend you fit something like this with the compact laser module because, or you know, just some kind of laser aiming thing because this thing is absolutely terrible at aiming if it goes by any of the machine guns. Uh, let's go ahead and fit ourselves a bipod. Now, you can fit this to any of the light machine guns you wish. It's up to you. So, just fit one and you can use it as long as it generally will work on it. As far as I'm concerned, all they mentioned was that, hey, stick it on and hope it works. Anyway, uh, barrel, uh, stuff it, we'll have a shorter barrel. Actually, no, I don't like that. First, I'm just going to remove that. There we go. Anyway, so let's equip this weapon and let's go give it a good old testing out. Right, so to show off this weapon, I thought not better a place to go than the big bank. A big gun needs a big bank to rob it with. Anyway, let's get started. So, we're just going to quickly cause a bit of noise like you do. Da -da 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 -da. And of course, everything goes mad. Oh, what a shame. I never saw that happening. Um, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and reload our gun. And as you will be able to see... You can press 4, and now you can mount your gun. And obviously if you add on the laser sight, because the bipod gives you apparently pretty damn good accuracy, which I can actually kind of agree with. Oh, let's see if we can shoot that plant pot. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, to be fair, I will be honest, it is a lot... What's the word? A lot more accurate than before. I'm going to be honest. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you can only place it just there. I don't think you can really place it on the floor. No, you can't. So, it has to be on some kind of surface, you know, some kind of thing that you can... You know, something that if you were going to use a bipod, what exactly would you mount it on? Yeah, you know, like a wall or, you know, that, if you could. But unfortunately, you can't. Anyway, the weapon itself seems to be pretty good. I mean, it's handling some cops only very well. Obviously, these are only first impressions. I haven't really used it before. I mean, as I said, it's fairly similar to the KSP um, light machine gun. If anybody's used that before, then uh, you, you'll pretty much kind of already had this, I guess. Because this is already pretty damn similar. It's a pretty nice weapon, though. I'll give it that. I mean, it's got a decent design. Don't know whether it makes up for the whole drill and safe thing. But you know what? At the end of the day, I, this weapon... I mean, if it was just this day in the whole of Crime Fest... A, some people might be complaining because there's only one day and one item. But I, I I would be fine with this. It's a nice it's a nice gun. I mean, at the end of the day, it does what it says on the tin. It's a light machine gun. You can shoot things with it and stuff dies. 
I mean, you, you're playing payday. What more do you want? Big guns, big money, big heists, etc., etc. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this. If you did, that's good news. Be sure to subscribe for more news on the payday side of things. Thank you for watching. Go get yourself a bipod, a KSP light machine gun, and go and do this. Because this is actually pretty damn decent. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go rob the rest of this bank now. Thank you for watching. And cheerio. Nah. Oh.